all right yes welcome back once again for yet another fantastic update we are bringing you here on this channel sports 7 gh we are bringing you fantastic blaster squad for the game versus um madagascar and then comoros those two games uh world cup qualifiers 2026 fifa world cup qualifiers the black um qualifiers the blasters will be having in this month of november 2023 the uh, first is on the 17th of november 2023 versus madagascar at home baba era sports stadium and the next one will be versus comoros away um, on the 21st of november which players will be part of the blaster squad to tackle these two 2026 World Cup qualifying games, we are going to look at the likely players to make the Blaster squad. And we are looking at the defenders, the goalkeepers, the midfielders, and the strikers. But today, in this video, in this particular video, we are going to look at the defenders and the goalkeepers. And in subsequent videos, we look at the midfielders and the strikers. So that is how things are. Um, some of the players are injured, some of them are fit, some of them are coming back. We are bringing them all of that. To you in this video do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much for staying so the black stars of ghana like i've explained will be taking on the madagascar and um comoros now world cup qualifies the goalkeepers to tackle these two games obviously will be three goalkeepers as always now, the first name that will be written is Lawrence Atizigi. Lawrence Atizigi consistently has been the Blasters' number one goalkeeper. In fact, he became the number one goalkeeper um, before the 2022 World Cup. And then during the World Cup, he was the goalkeeper of the Blasters after Jojo Wallaco got injured and couldn't be part, be part of the World Cup as a whole. Now, when he became the number one goalkeeper, he's been doing well for some time now. But when we went for the USA versus Mexico game, a lot of people were like, look, Lawrence Atizigi is not a good goalkeeper. We should not be entertaining him. We should have him as our second goalkeeper and not the main goalkeeper. So I don't know if you still think we should have Lawrence Atizigi going into the 2026 World Cup qualifiers. We all know that for these World Cup qualifiers there, we cannot joke with it. We have to be very, very serious with it. So do you think that we should have Lawrence Atizigi as the number one goalkeeper? Let me hear your thoughts, comments, views, opinions about this one in the comment section of this video. So Lawrence Atizigi will be part... Of the goalkeepers who will be called up um jojo wallacott will also be part because he's back from injury and he looks to be our second best goalkeeper and um, for some time now um uh, since lawrence atiziki became the number one he looks to be the second so obviously jojo wallacott coming back from injury will be called up and then manav nuruddin will also be part of the squad so manaf nuruddin will get the nod over richard of one richard of has lost his place at the in in orlando pirates and he's not he's just not the preferred choice of the technical team of the black stars for me i would have chosen richard of over manaf nuruddin yes i'm telling you because richard of in the first place was our number one goalkeeper even before jojo wallacott took the position from him and then Lawrence atizigi also took it from jojo wallacott so if you have such a player and he's coming back he's back fit now in fact he lost his position because of injury okay so if he's fit now he at least he should be part of your top three but <laughs> i don't think that's how it's going to be it's going to be manaf nuruddin um Lawrence Atizigi and then Jojo Olakot. Our three top um goalkeepers or our three goalkeepers will be call, um we will call out for those two World Cup qualifiers. Now the defenders um they are where the problem lies, okay. And uh, there are a lot of issues there, but let's tackle all of those issues. These are the defenders that will be called up for the game versus um, Madagascar and Comoros. The first defender is obviously Alexander Jiku. Now, Alexander Jiku is a top, top quality defender who plays for Fenerbahce. Um, he's doing very, very well for Fenerbahce so far in the Turkish league. And um, he will be called out for this game. Nicolas Opoku looks to be the fourth choice um, centre back. If there is Joseph Edu and the likes of Daniel Amate, Salesu, um, Mohamed, and the rest, Nicolas Opoku would be called up um, for this particular game. Um, he has been part of the Blasters for some time now. And I suspect that he's going to get another game. Abdo Moment should be called up, but I don't know if he will be called up. <laughs> He's a fantastic player for Rayo Vallecano in the Spanish La Liga, doing very well. Yesterday, he had a very good game versus Real Madrid in the Spanish La Liga. 
he should be called up. I was say a friend, but my name is a coach Chris Uti, a friend there. Because coach Chris Uti was calling Jerome Opoku and the rest when there was Abdul moment in our friendly games versus USA and Mexico. But I suspect that there will be a change of mind and he will be called up. Now, Daniel Amate, it was reported that Daniel Amate was injured for Besiktas. But I'm seeing several reports from um, Turkey also saying that Daniel Amate reported to training today and has been training with a Turkish setup. Um, Besiktas setup. He's training with Besiktas. That's his team. So if he's fit and can play, then obviously Daniel Amate will also be called up uh, for these particular two games. Now, so these are the central defenders: Daniel Amate, Abdul Momen, Alexander Jiku, and then Nicolas Opoku. These are the best central defenders you will get. Now, Mohamed Salisu is fit and training with the squad, but not so fit. So we don't know if he will be available for selection. But if he's available, then we should slot in Mohamed Salisu and take Nicolas Opoku out. Easy. Because Nicolas Opoku, when we met the big teams, Mexico and the rest, he was exposed. He was he was exposed. He played a very good game versus Liberia. Liberia is not a good team. But when we met the big teams, he was exposed. So if Mohamed Salisu will be fit, then we should have Mohamed Salisu in place of Nicolas Opoku. But if he's not fit, then we should have Nicolas Opoku, Daniel Amate, Alexander Jiku, and then Abdo Momen of Rayo Valacano. He's the new defender I am expecting that the Blasters coach will call. If he doesn't call him. It is up to him. Now, there will also be Gideon Mensah as the left back position. Yeah, he played very poorly versus USA and uh, those two friendly games. I don't know if he will be given another chance, which I'm very sure he will. But Gideon Mensah will be caught up. Baba Rahman will be back because of how poor Gideon Mensah was. <laughs> I suspect Baba Rahman would be caught up again. Tarek Lamte is expected to be back and then Ali Diseidu is expected to be the next defender or the other defender for that particular position. So two left backs, two right backs. Gideon Mensah, Gideon Mensah and then um, Baba Rahman as the two left backs. Ali Diseidu and then Tarek Lamte as the two right backs. Solid, solid defense. This one, no? if you have... Lawrence Atizi here as your number one. The right back for Tariq Lamte. The left back for Babara Man. The four and five, you know, you have um, um, Alexander Jiku and Abdo Momen as your four and five. What a defense this will be. What a fantastic defense this will be. But um, <laughs> we will see if Coach Chris Uti will call them. But then these are, these are my predictions for the Blaster squad. As we anticipate for the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Like I told you, I'm just concentrating on the goalkeepers and the defenders. And the rest will follow. So the midfielders and the strikers will follow um, over there. So thank you very much for staying with us on this channel for yet another fantastic update. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Hit the notification bell. And you select, or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. It's always a pleasure to have you. I'll see you in the next update. Bye-bye.